what's the damn Wally McCleaver. It's actually really spiky at the bottom, but if not, since somebody come in here and just go Oh right, everybody. Time for a taste test. As you see, what kind of bit on the end I don't think it. Well there may still be some at the bottom there. But it's starting to get nice and ripe. An aloe vera leaf. I uh, bought one of these in the past and just let it completely rot and never do the taste test. So uh, I'm getting on this. I want to do this taste test. This is an aloe vera uh, from Sycar Farms. It says uh, aloe vera Mexico. So not organic. Um, that's what ideally I'd like to try, but it's just a taste test. So um, you know, you don't know how big my head is, but here's a comparison. Anyway. Here's a gallon water bottle, and this was actually smaller than the uh, other one I've tried. So what we're gonna do, gonna get a smell test, outside, inside, taste test, just inside, not eating outside, and then we're gonna do a, uh, I'll give you the calories, macros, uh, micros, just basically the nutritional facts of it as well, and uh, basically tell you, am I gonna eat this again? Would I buy this again? Would I recommend this? And then obviously. You can just look up the health benefits of aloe vera. Everybody basically knows it's super, super good for your skin. Um, or I may read you that in a little bit too. But So what I saw online, uh, basically, you know what I'm saying? Cut off these end pieces, these spikes here. Cut those off. And then cut it, you know, cut off this end piece here as well. We're going to cut it in sections. We're going to soak that in water for about probably five to ten minutes. I'm going to eat some, something else. I saw some say sucker for like four hours, some say like ten, four minutes, five hours, ten hours. One was like ten hours, I think. One was like four minutes. I'm going to do something in the middle, like ten minutes maybe. I'm not waiting. Uh, and that's just to get something called, uh, I forget that I'll pop it up on the screen or I'll come back and i got to look it up again or I'll pop it up on the screen when I'm making this video. It's some kind of like yellow substance on the inside. It says it's kind of, it's not harmful to eat. It's just kind of a... Uh, bitter or some kind of odd, odd taste or something so that's what we're really trying to get off by soaking it so probably just going to soak it in this uh well i don't know we're on well water so it's pretty it's pretty good so i may just do that it's not like if it was tap water i would definitely not soak it in that but so just going to probably get a bowl and then soak it there's actually a bowl right there so that's what i'm going to do going to get the cut in this and i'll see y'all back in a second for the taste test first off we're getting an appropriate size plate not like me but this actually will probably work just fine. I've been seeing a lot. It's very, very gooey. That looks awesome, though. If I can't really focus, come on. All right, so here we got this first piece. Actually pretty stiff, kind of slime action going on there. Oh, uh, that's one thing the soap in it does, too, is make it, uh less firm so anyway I'm just gonna throw this piece away all right we got them soaking in a glass of water a bowl of water here so 10 minutes and then I'm gonna peel it uh, get the taste test honestly I can already smell it, it smells really nasty I went and threw that big piece away and uh smelled it. I was like, I'm not letting this sit in the refrigerator. Like the trash can, it would smell horrible uh, before long. So, um, I think, you know, we're just trying to get that yellow stuff out of it. Again, I'll pop that on the screen whenever I know the, the name of that is. And uh, I think I'm trying to make it softer too. I'm not really too concerned about being softer. Uh, just for the taste test purpose, it's not going to affect the taste. So, I'm going to just get the yellow stuff out. We'll be good. So, it's in y'all in about 10 minutes. All right, so all hands all dried up, got everything put up. There really was no yellow stuff. You see there's a little bit of green in there. Oh, when I cut it really, really close, then that's, that's fine. Um, looks crazy though. It just looks like straight plastic or some kind of glue or some kind of like silicone or something like, just never seen food look like this. It's like a clear piece of fish or something up there on the plate. It looks, all, it looks crazy, it looks wild. But that's what the yield was, that size leaf. What I got out of it. So super, super slimy. Super slimy stuff. 
All right, on to the taste test. All right, boy, here we go. All I'm gonna try is this 0.6 ounces here, a little sliver. Um, I'll give y'all the calories and macros and stuff like that in a second. Uh, if it's good, you know, I'll save these big ones for later in the week. I'll just cut them up, you know, do probably bigger servings than that, but uh, maybe half of those or something like that. But here we go. All right, so smell test originally right at the plant and cutting it was really nasty smelling. This, I literally just got some of my nose. Um, no smell. Well, very, very, that might be the napkin smell. There's a very, very, very faint smell. Again, this stuff is super messy. Now, um, I rinsed it off as well. I've seen videos of people doing that. So, after I cut it off, the skin off, I went ahead and rinsed it some more. So, it's not quite as slimy, but there's still a little bit sticky, but nothing like super, super slimy on this side. But here we go. Got a little, little piece right here. Freaking wild looking, man. Here we go. Very chewy. Super slimy after you start when you start chewing on it. kind of webby like I'm about to show you all the food so if you don't like seeing it don't look but it's like I'm chewing it but I can pull it apart my tongue back and feel like there's a knot there knot there knot there and the string connecting it maybe that didn't look good so Maybe didn't show what I'm trying to depict, but I can literally put this through my teeth. You know, you can shoot water to, through your teeth. So it's still, like, it's chewed out, but it's still all one piece, basically. So, swallowing it. Basically no taste at the very end of chewing it and the end of swallowing right now. Literally no aftertaste. I couldn't tell you. Like I just had a piece of this. Now, was a little bit of, I mean, I'm trying to describe this vibe at the beginning because y'all saw I was making a little funny face there and I'm trying to really uh, taste that. But a little bit odd taste at the beginning. Let me try to... Uh, Verbalize that better for y'all. Go ahead with the rest of it. It makes your saliva come when you're like crazy in your mouth, man. Just so like gooey and odd texture. All right, this time through, I'm really not tasting that other taste near as much. It's like a plant, planty, planty type taste. Like it just tastes kind of like a plant. You know what I mean? Like a vegetable type. Planty is the best way I can describe it. Just kind of tastes like a plant. But I mean like super, super mild, like, barely taste it. It's there longer than this chew here. And honestly, whoa, I did not mean to do that. What I may be actually tasting is where there's a little bit of that green on there. Uh, you can see where I cut it so close, there's a tiny, tiny bit of the skin on the top. There's little green lines, there's a little bit right there. 
a little bit there. I'm thinking that's probably what I'm tasting, the actual gel. Doesn't have any taste, I'm thinking. It's like you really almost can't chew it. It's like the uh, seeds in the uh, organic Mama Chia drinks. It's like they're so squishy. Like by the time you try to actually bite it between your teeth, it just squishes out. It's so squishy. So same deal with this. You just chew it and chew it, chew it, and then you just swallow it. Once you feel like it's broken down enough, but it really doesn't chew up like food. So a little burp coming up. This came out. I literally taste nothing. So I think just the actual gel, like the aloe vera gel, the inside there, I think that's gonna have zero taste. Again, I think the only time, way I'm reason I'm getting that little bit of a plant taste is because of a little bit of the skin left on there. And um, even if that is the regular taste into it, which I don't think it is, but it's super, super mild. Like, so it's literally like basically eating nothing. I mean, as far as, it has a weird texture very chewy, very like, very like bubble gummy, where it's like, you feel like you can put it on your tongue and, you know when you blow a bubble, put it on your tongue, and then you blow, feel like it spread across your tongue, you kind of get that vibe with it, uh, very chewy, like, as soon as you start chewing on it, it's going to make your mouth like saliva, just like, like super, super crazy, um, that's the first food I've ever had where it made me do that, and I think it's just the saliva and then a lot of that, uh, like, goo's coming out, that gel, the like, actual gel substance is coming out. Um, again, even right now, 0% aftertaste, so that's cool, you can eat something that's literally tastes like nothing, but has a lot of, you know, health benefits to it, so just for what I tried that, and I don't see anything that's 100% uh, the right, like, you know, sometimes you can Google things that gives you the exact USDA, um, or the exact like, nutrition facts, this isn't coming up, so I just tracked it as one, I kind of looked through some nutrition facts that did come up online, but some of them had other ingredients added that wasn't just pure tea, raw aloe vera, like gel on the inside. Um, but from the average of what I'm seeing, the best one, this one came up first on my fitness path. So, and based off the other ones I looked at this online, this is like probably the most accurate one or very close. So for what I did, 0.6 ounces is 0.2 carbs. And I don't know if these other nutrition facts would be right, so I'm not even going to say it, but per eight ounces, let's see. That's kind of the serving size that it kept coming up a lot was eight ounces, so let's see here. So for eight ounces, it's basically saying uh, 10 calories, two carbs. Uh, let's see, and just looking up aloe vera quick, active compounds with its properties, aloe vera contains 75 potentially active constituents. Vitamins, enzymes, minerals, sugars, lignans, saponins, salic, sal salicylic acids, and amino acids, vitamins, it contains vitamins A, C, E, uh, vitamin B12, folic acid. There's another, they can get your B vitamins in if you're vegan. Look at there. B12 in there. Um, and then, you know, there's a bunch of uh, slots coming up here. Aloe vera juice uh, benefits. But I could click on this, uh, see if it gives a better breakdown on this website here. All right, so these aren't given like exact breakdowns of percentages of like a regular nutrition label would, something like that at the top there. But or something like that, like a regular nutrition fact. So. Like that one right there, 8 ounces, 15 calories, and this is 99.5% aloe vera leaf juice. It has uh, water, aloe vera leaf juice, preservatives and stuff, so it's just showing calcium, and that's it. 1 gram of fiber, 3 grams of carbs. So, I don't really know, I have to really start diving into the research to give y'all, like, but y'all, what I read off, like the vitamins and minerals and stuff it does have, um, that was like a whole actual study, it wasn't like just giving you what it was, like it had an abstract and stuff, and was going through everything, had citations and stuff, so... Very healthy for you. I've even seen videos of people putting this on their skin. That'd be cool as well. I'm just gonna eat it. Like I said, I'm gonna slice it up and probably eat like half of that big on a day, half of that on another day, just something like that. So anyway, do I recommend? Yes, I would go organic as basically I always recommend. 
Um, but yeah, now, will I get again? Yeah, I probably honestly will, but it's not going to be super often because that's, that's just so much hassle to go through just to get that little bit. I know I get a bigger one, but it's not going to yield that much more. Um, and if you were going to, you know, go ahead and doing that process of cutting it and soaking it and all that crap, it'd be better just go ahead and buy you a couple leaves and kind of get you a big glass container and store that in the refrigerator, go ahead and get you a good bit, that way while you got everything out, your hands are all gooey, you're just making a mess, basically go ahead and just do it all at one time, that way you can kind of uh, get a lot out of one like prep time, kind of like a meal prep for the week type deal where you just do it once but do a lot instead of trying to do it a little bit of time every time. So. That's one reason I'm not going to buy it a super, super lot, just because of that much time. But if I do, it's going to be something like that, where I buy more. That way I can get more out of it in the time I spend prepping it. Um, again, taste. Thumbs up. There's no taste. so And you get nutrients in. Super, super low calories. So basically, that's another benefit. And I said there's a bunch of health benefits to it, too. So that's the end of the video. Definitely give it a thumbs up. Um, that's the only thing I would like to see better is organic. But that's it for the video. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. It uh, really helps the channel out. It helps me grow. Whole taste test playlist here. It'll pop up at the end of the video too. Um, we got a lot of videos there constantly doing taste tests. So, uh, generally healthy foods. I do a ton of herbal teas and give you like uh, I go over the ingredients and see if they're healthy or not. Should you drink them? What, you know, what I think about them. And then um, sometimes here and there I do unhealthy foods too. But generally it's some healthy foods. But if you have any foods you want to taste test, any teas, anything like that, comment down below and I will put them in the list of things to get to and I'll get to it. That's it for the video. Stash, stay healthy. Go make y'all some gains. See y'all in the next one. Peace out.